promises that God has made to man. Dear child of God, God is a promise keeper. God is faithful and God is kind. But when you come to realize that there is a truth of God that is not shared to all, but to those who have made up their mind to remain with him, their child of God, this truth will be expressed unto you. This truth will be made manifest to you. And today, I pray you receive this word truly from your heart. So when people are mocking and people are saying, your situation is not changing, tell them, just wait and see, because God is working it out. When people are laughing at you, giving you those wrong suggestions, when people are bringing errors to you, things that will cause you to err, things that would make you come to that point of having regrets in life, just tell them, watch what the Lord is doing. Soon your story will be different. Soon the story will be different. Soon you will see that God was up to something, dear child of God. And it's my prayer that God will use you to accomplish a purpose on the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some people that he had formed for himself to show forth his praise and you will be one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. So when they look for somebody to use as an example of God's faithfulness, you will be one of them. When they look for somebody that God miraculously changed their marital situation, you will be one of them. When God will look on the face of the earth, oh my God, when people will look around, looking for those people that God have used to show forth a sign of faithfulness, you'll be one of them. He found Sarah to be one of them. He will find you. The scripture recorded that she judged him faithful. This is what you would also do because he had used you to make a mark on the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. So when everybody on the face of the earth says it's not possible, they will look at you and say there is an exemption, my God. When everybody look on the face of the earth and say it cannot happen this way, they will look at you and say, but there is something different we are looking at this matters. This is what the Lord will do for you and for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will show you his great things. He will show you awesome things. He will show you mighty things. He will show you beautiful things that he wants to accomplish with you and with your family. He will show you wonderful things he wants to accomplish in your life and destiny. And you will have a reason to rejoice every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 24, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand for what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might. My God, he said that time will come that he will begin to show his greatness to his servant. He will begin to show it. He will begin to make it manifest. He will make it visible. He will make it evidential. So when people come around you, those who have been having those debates, those who have been having doubts in their mind, those doubting Thomases, they will come and look and say, indeed, God is real. Indeed, God is good. And I have seen him shown up and I've seen him manifested himself in a way that I cannot explain. I saw him through the life of that man. I saw him through the life of that woman. And when you look, you will discover they were talking about you. The way God will uplift you. The way God will turn the story around. The way God will stop the works of the mockers. The way God will stop the works of the enemy. They knew they did everything right, but they could not succeed. And then they will return to say, you have a God that is alive. You have a God that is faithful. You have a God that watches over his children. You have a God that is always sure. You have a God that is always worthy to be relied upon. This is what they will say to you. Because he has formed you for himself and because he had decided to make you a praise. He has decided to show you forth. And use you as one of those people he would express himself through. So come to that point of saying to God, Lord, look at me and look upon me with your eyes of mercy. When you look for those people on the face of the earth that you have made and formed for yourself, I want to be in that number. 
when you look for those people around the face of the earth that you have caught out for specific reasons to show wonders on the face of the earth, I want to be one of those. When you look for those people that you want to use to write on their forehead, God is good, I want to be one of those. When you look for people around the face of the earth and you want to put a stamp and a mark upon them saying God is faithful, I want to be one of them. When you look for people on the face of the earth who will be willing to have this seal upon their life, the seal of God is the keeper of promises, I want to be one of them. So when somebody looks at me, my life will be a definition of the wonders of God. When somebody look at me, my life will be an expression of the faithfulness of God. When somebody look at me, my life will be an expression of the promises the Lord will use you to express himself on the face of the earth. Dear child of God, the Lord will use you to brag for the greatness that he wants to accomplish. He will use you as a means to say, I am God and I am faithful. Oh, dear child of God, I want you to know this. People who have been mocking, people who have been saying God is not good, when they look at you, their testimonies will change. Those people who have been saying God is not faithful, those people who say God is a liar, when they look at you, they will change their mind because they have seen somebody that God has been good to. They have seen somebody that has been an expression of God's faithfulness. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God will use you as a signature of his glory on the face of the earth. He said, I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. He said, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search. He said, my spirit made a diligent search. And then he went further to say, I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely, I will remember thy wonders. Oh my God. Dear child of God. When God have accomplished the things that he wants to do in your life, your mouth shall be filled with praises. I want you to know that God is set to do a great and amazing thing in your life. And this thing will cause you to be glad forever in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, the word of God in Isaiah 43 verse 20 says, The beast of the field shall honor me. <laughs> he said, The dragons and the owls. Because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, to give drink to my people, to my chosen ones. He said, because of this, the beasts of the field, they shall honor me. This is what I want you to know. Those naysayers, those people who are saying God is evil, those people who are doing all the things they are doing to take the heart of people away from God. Every one of them will turn and begin to honor God. He says those beasts, those dragons, those owls, those people whose intention is to see that they propagate wickedness and evil. Those people who they delight in seeing that everything that God is doing are being attacked. Dear child of God, I want you to know that with you, God will change their testimonies. With you, God will give them a different story in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, there is nobody that can do the things that God would do for you. There is nobody on the face of the earth that will be able to accomplish these great things for you that God himself has destined for you. And he's telling you today that that time has come for him to begin to show you his greatness, for him to begin to express all of these things that will cause you to be a delight on the face of the earth. He said, these people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Isaiah 43 verse 21. He said, these people, I formed them for a special purpose, my God. He said, these people are special spec. These people are special. These people are different. These people are unique. I formed them differently. I made them purposefully for something. I made them to show forth my praise. Ah, my God. The Lord is telling you today that he's making something out of you. That when people see, they'll be glorifying God. When people see it, they will say God is good. When the Lord finishes with you, all the things that he wants to accomplish with you, 
will make headline news. <laughs> Everything he wants to accomplish with you will be the top of the news. It will be in the lips of people because he said, those people that I have formed for myself, they will show forth my praise. He did not say everybody will show forth his praise. He said, those people that I have formed for myself, those people that I have carved out, those people that I have separated, and I have a good news for you. You are one of those that God has separated, that God has cut out, that God has called out to make a praise. He said that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You have been called out of darkness to show forth his marvelous light. It takes the heart of the one who God has pruned to understand this word. It takes the heart of the one who God is taking through that process of transformation to understand this word. Receive this word with all of your heart because the Lord will use you to make something big in this life. He will use you to make something great. He will use you to accomplish his mission and his purpose and your heart will be glad in the mighty name of Jesus. So all you need to say right now is say, Lord, I'm available. All you need to say right now is, Lord, I make myself available as one of those you would use as your praise, as one of those you will use to brag to the dragons, as one of those you will use to brag to those beasts and make them realize that they need to come to honor God. He said that the beast they will honor God. The owls, they will honor God. Every of these things will come because he had made a way, because he had made something out of the impossible, because he had made something come out that he thought would never come out. He says, I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert and to give drink to my people, my chosen. So all of these things would honor me because I was able to do this. This is how the Lord will accomplish things for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. In Shalom.